What is up guys? Garrett coming to you from day seven of the carnivore diet. Super excited just to share how things have been going and it's August 1st, which means that I got a whole new grocery budget for the month and today went out, bought some awesome meats and I'm gonna let you guys in on a meal prep day. How do I go about cooking foods, prepping for the week, things like that. It's pretty easy. I just cook a whole bunch of meat and now it's ready. Um, with carnivore, that's super easy. With keto, I pretty much did the same thing. I would just cook all my meats at the start of the week and then I would just microwave them or air fry them to heat them up and then utilize you know, the microwave or whatever to cook vegetables and you know, add my fats, do all that stuff. So anyways, gonna let you in on that. But in the meantime, I just wanted to quick talk to you guys about the importance of meal prepping because it is so important, especially when you're dieting, because it's easy to get home from a, a long day of work or you're tired or you know whatever's going on and not want to cook chicken thighs for 30 minutes in the oven or not want to get a pan out and make sure you have steak that's thawed out and cook a steak. So in order to do that, just meal prep. Have it ready for you so you can just quick microwave it or air fry it to heat it back up and that way it's ready to go in just a few minutes. Um, that's been huge for me. I know I've had many days where I have not done so good, not made such healthy choices, just out of convenience and ease because, you know, I'm tired, worn out, it's been a long day. And I think another big thing too is just getting rid of the foods in your house that you don't need, that aren't going to be helping you on your diet. Um, whether I've done it two ways, whether you binge eat all of that food just because you don't want the money to go to, I don't know. Do you guys have this issue too? Like, I just can't waste things. I have a really hard time throwing things away um, that still have food in them or whatever. Like, I don't, I don't know where that that came from. Um, but I just, I'm a saver, so it, it parts. Otherwise, I probably shouldn't say that. My wife knows that I'm not a saver. I am a spender. I like to spend money. I like to buy new clothes. I like to buy anime T-shirts. I like to buy things. So disregard everything I just said not a saver. I just can't waste things. All right, moving forward. So, you know, getting rid of some of that stuff that's just lying around, the crackers, the different things that maybe are easy or in a box, like, you know, eating whole healthy foods. Um, it's just going to be a challenge to do that when you have things that are so readily available and sitting around to you. Um, so that would be, I guess, pro tip number two when it comes to meal prepping is just get rid of the other foods that are easy to access, that are just those kind of quick you know, craving fixes that you can just get rid of. So that way they're not going to hold you back when you are pursuing um, healthier choices and healthier life decisions and, and putting some good wholesome food into your body. So awesome, awesome. I'm going to let you guys into a day of uh, cooking with me and meal prepping. I'm not sure what else I'm going to add. I'm not sure how that's even going to go, um, but we're just going to go for it. So awesome, you guys. Hope you're having a blessed one and we will see you in a second when I am meal prepping. All right, you guys, so here is the bone broth that I'm making. I've got six pounds of chicken drumsticks in there. I've got like uh, half a pound maybe of hearts and gizzards and then some extra bones I've been saving from the chicken thighs. And now we're just adding water. No vegetables in this one since it's carnivore, so I have no idea if it's even gonna taste all that great. But I know it's going to be nutritious, so we're going to get it done. So there's the water. And then next is two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. And that's it. Let it sip 24 to 48 hours. And then we will have some awesome sipping broth and delicious meat. All right. So here we have it. We've got chicken thighs, more chicken thighs, chicken breasts, which I thought Char was going to eat tonight for dinner, but she is having some stuffed crust pizza try not to be jealous of that and then we've got some ground beef burgers here three pounds of ground beef which i'll probably consume within the next couple of days <laughs> and then steaks two steaks i'm going to be prepping as well all right now it's just time to salt them up with some himalayan sea salt um, don't recommend table salt or iodized salt but Himalayan sea salt is clutch. It's got tons of electrolytes and minerals that you need in your day-to-day -day life. And so we're gonna put that all over these and then we are gonna get them cooking. All right, chicken is going in. Four 
415, 25 minutes. All right, so this is what we got going on. Got the burgers frying, six at a time. We've got the chicken in the oven. Last but not least, we got steak in the air fryer right next to the delicious bone broth that is brewing. All right, so just pulling the chicken out of the oven now. Um, got a meat temper. I uh, highly recommend having a meat thermometer if you're cooking any kinds of meats. It just saves, I mean, the questionability that maybe you undercooked it. Um, and it also stops you from overcooking the chicken as well um, because no one really cares for, you know, dried chicken. Um, so you just insert it into the fast part of the chicken and now we wait. Is it going to hit 165? So that's okay. I'm going to throw them back in until they hit 165. Highly recommend meat thermometer. So there we have it. Food is all prepped. We got, I think it was 12 burgers. Got the chicken breast. I did not count the chicken thighs. I'm not even gonna try to guess how many there was, but there was quite a few in that bucket. And then I saved the grease there to add some flavor later on, put on the food or to cook with again. And yeah, these are my meat buckets. Woo! That was awesome. So glad you guys could join me for meal prepping today and checking out some of the foods that I'm gonna be eating this week and that I've got cooking. Um, also just wanted to talk to you about how things have been going for me with the carnivore diet. Um, so far it's been great. It's been really simplified. I'm, there's nothing really to overthink. It's kind of like, what are you gonna eat? Uh, let me think about meat. That's, that's what I'm going to eat. And then what am I gonna cook it in? I'm gonna cook it in beef tallow lard, some sort of animal fat product um, that has a high smoke point and isn't going to become rancid when I cook with it. So that's that. Um, it's been really, really nice to just not have to think too hard about what I'm gonna be eating, what foods I'm gonna be having. Um, the best part has been I have not been bloated at all. I have not been constipated at all. <laughs> TMI every time. I have not been you know, having troubles in that area because that was really, really messing with me and is kind of what pushed me to really switch to carnivore. Um, just for now, while I'm healing leaky gut, adrenal fatigue, thyroid issues, and some of these things going on, um, energy levels are phenomenal. I've actually had a tough time sleeping, which has been weird. Um, I've heard when you go to the carnivore diet, you actually have a better time sleeping. But I think just with the transition um, and my body just kind of changing how we're operating, running off fats and, and just meat, um, I've just had so much energy, I like can't sleep. So um, it's good and bad. I can be really productive, but yet again, not sleeping is never fun. Um, you know, five hours just isn't enough for me. Just not enough. I don't know, post in the comments below, how many hours of sleep do you get in a night? Um, ideally for me, like seven and a half to nine hours. Otherwise, I got to just like go for it and try for like 12 or 13 and go like super far past. And that's like my wife's normal schedule is like 12 to 13 hours of sleep. She's good. She's golden. Um, <laughs> just joking. She does love to sleep though. Um, but yeah, she does do that every night. So you guys awesome. Thanks so much for tuning in to Carnivore Day 7. Um, yeah, I think that's all I've got. Uh, super excited for this upcoming week. Um, can't believe it's already been seven days to, to say the least, um, but just excited to keep going with this 90 day challenge and see where it takes me. Awesome. Awesome. Well, you guys have a blessed night and we will see you soon back on the YouTube later.